Hi there, it's Jeff here. How does the income tax and benefit system affect income inequality in the UK? Well, we've got some new data on this for the UK, so I thought I'd share the information with you and explain along the way. There are different measures of income that we need to think about, so let's work through them. Original income, well, that's income from basic sources. So you might have income from your job, a private pension, an occupational pension. Pension. You might have incomes from investments, including dividends uh, and interest from savings. So people accumulate original income and there's a lot of inequality there. Now, gross income is the income which uh, is original income plus the effects of cash benefits. So that might include job seekers allowance for the unemployed, families claiming universal credit or personal independence payments, child benefits and also the state pension. Disposable income is gross income minus direct taxes, the biggest of which, of course, is income tax, then national insurance and also we include the effect of student loan payments and council tax. So disposable income is gross income minus direct taxes and then post-tax income are just for the effect of indirect taxes. You'll be familiar with some of these. VAT, duty on tobacco, on drink, on fuel and also stamp duty on house purchases. So people have original income to which they may add from benefits but they pay their direct taxes and also their indirect taxes. So what we're looking for is the effect of taxes and benefits on original income to lead to post-tax income. So let's have a look. First of all, original income, you can see the scale of the inequality. Uh, what we're doing here is we're taking quintiles. So the bottom quintile is the poorest 20% of households. The top quintile is the richest 20% and you can see the gap there uh, with the, um, uh, the third quintile having an original income of just under £40,000 but the top quintile an original income nearly three times as much. Disposable income don't forget is original income plus benefits minus direct taxes. So for the bottom and the second quintiles their incomes go up, they are net beneficiaries from the system third quintile, more or less even Stevens, and for the richest 40%, the net effect of taxes and benefits is to reduce your disposable income. So to that extent, the tax and benefit system reduces uh, income inequality. And then post-tax income, well, you can see here, this is in green and uh, it reduces the income because of course people pay indirect taxes. And you can see that for all of them, their eventual post-tax post income falls. There's a big debate about the regressivity of things such as um, uh, fuel taxes and cigarette taxes and uh, VAT. But you can see the impact there of indirect taxes. So if we take median household incomes over the last four years, we can see that actually in equivalent, equivalent terms, that's adjusted for household size, if you look at gross incomes, they've actually come down and so too have disposable incomes and post-tax incomes. So median household income over the last few years has actually fallen. In part, that is a result of what's called fiscal drag. You see, the government has kept income tax allowances frozen for several years now. More people are there pay, therefore paying more in income tax they get a pay rise, they end up perhaps moving into a higher tax bracket, perhaps start paying tax to 20% or start paying tax at, at 40%. So fiscal drag has been one factor bringing down equivalised household income. Now, this is the data they use when they're calculating the so-called Lorenz curve and Gini coefficient. So this is original income before taxes and benefits. And you can see for non-retired households, this data is just for households that are non-retired, the poorest 20% of that population took home 4% of original income. Whereas the top 20%, the richest fifth of non-retired households, took 
percent of original income, just under half. So that would be a very skewed uh, Lorenz curve, wouldn't it? If you can visualize how you draw that, significant income inequality. If we think about post tax income, that's the effect of direct tax, cash benefits, and indirect taxes. So that's in the lighter blue. The share of the richest 20% comes down from 46 to 40%, still high. The share of the third and fourth quintiles broadly unchanged. The share of the poorest two quintiles goes up. The second quintile from 10 to 13, uh, the bottom from 4 to 7. But even after the effects of cash benefits, uh, direct taxes and indirect taxes, the bottom quintiles, non-retired households, the bottom the poorest 20%, uh, only have 7% of the post-tax income in the UK. So there we go, a quick explanation of the latest data on how taxes and benefits affect our incomes. If you found the video useful, consider giving it a like and please do subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining in. Take care and see you soon.